it's me. Listen, the vlog's about to start right now. But before you start watching this vlog, I want you to know there's a lot of talk about politics in it. So if you don't want to hear about politics, you don't want to talk about politics, and you don't care about politics, stop watching now. Otherwise, enjoy the vlog. Hi. I gotta go to work. Um, I started to watch Independence Day 2 last night. I gotta finish it because I paid for it on pay-per-view. <laughs> I got about halfway through it. I'm on the fence. I don't know. No Will Smith. Just crazy quips and great action scenes. I don't, I don't know if I can do without it for the remainder of the movie. Episode 181. Going to work. On our way to pick up Maddie from practice. Super excited for the third presidential debate tonight. Yeah. This is like the Super Bowl. Excuse me, hiccup. But much more comical. Much much more comical. Get prepare yourselves, all you Democrats and Republicans who both think you're right or wrong, um, for two people making complete asses out of themselves. It'll be really entertaining. I think one will be making more of an ass out of themselves. I you. think I thought there was something about you couldn't be a clown near Halloween because of this whole thing and <laughs> You're about to see some clown sightings tonight, folks. Oh my goodness. What? Hello, dear. Guess what? What? The two hour season premiere of Scream Halloween is on MTV app. When? Tonight. <gasps> no, right now. It's on right now. Oh my goodness. But I can't uh, watch it on my TV because. Is this season three? No, it's just a season two premiere. Well. Or, Hold on, let me look at the thing. Season 2 is already on Netflix. Yeah, then maybe it is season 3. Oh. Why can't you watch it on your TV? Because I don't have the MTV app. Guess anymore. what, Maddie? Why don't you get the MTV app? I don't have to. Guess what, Maddie? What? We're, what's on on Sunday? The Walking Dead. We might have to stay up late on I Sunday. I have to finish watching Independence Day. I know. This backlight is awful. the loudest news show ever. Hi, I'm Dave Berge, and welcome to the Berge Blender's Political Corner. I feel like I've made it a pretty good point not to really discuss politics, just like the fun-loving sides of politics, the fun-loving, I don't think those exist. But the third debate is tonight. Uh, if I scroll through Facebook, every single person is talking about this presidential election. Let me talk to you about the positive sides of this presidential election. Hillary Clinton wins. It's not what I meant. The positive sides. Here's, here's what I'm thinking. I know a lot of people, Republicans, Democrats, Independent, Green Party, there's people that are thinking like there are zero positive sides. Like Hillary Clinton's a criminal. Donald Trump's sexually abusive. Yeah. So, like, there's zero positive sides. I disagree. Think of a time... I'm only 35, so I've only been able to vote for, like, 17 years or something. But think of a time, if you're older, when there has been this much hype around a presidential election. Not to throw in any kind of racial stereotype... But when Barack Obama was about to become the first ever black president, something I'm sure like a lot of people maybe didn't think would ever happen, there was not this much hype. And like you would think that maybe it has something to do with the fact that Hillary Clinton may be the first female president. But that's really not even the story here. The story here is that the candidates are so bad that no one knows who to vote for. That this has become like a dog and pony show. This is a circus. This is not politics. This is a reality show. This is the amazing race meets the apprentice. And there's going to be one survivor. This is amazing. This is history in the making. I guarantee you're about to see the biggest voter turnout probably we've ever had in this country. I've got to assume that numbers are like way, way, way up for voter turnout this year. Like as they were, I think, decreasing, now they're going to be increasing. It's exciting. 
it's awful that we have to choose between these people, but it's exciting. Uh, so that's that's the benefit. Here's my next topic on uh, the Bergie Blenders political. Wait, I have a topic for you. Amanda has a topic. You are officially able to vote. Oh, look at this. Where, where, look, it's my, my voter card. Yeah. So now I can go vote in this chaotic election. How exciting. Now let's talk about topic two. Topic two, the Democrat and the Republican. Oh, here's your polling place. Oh, that's exciting. The Democrat and the Republican. The left side, the right side. Here's, I don't know which is on which side, because I don't know that much about politics. What I can tell you is, I think I believe in some Democratic views, and I think I believe in some Republican views. I can't handle the Democrat that sees no wrong and the Republican that sees no wrong in these two candidates. I cannot handle that. America would be so much better if we split the difference. If we just said... Trump's an idiot. He's sexually abused women. Most of those women that have come forward are probably telling the truth. If you're a billionaire with that much power, you've done some stuff wrong. But on the other hand, there's Hillary. She's not an angel. She's not a saint. She's done stuff wrong too. The Democrats don't see the things that Hillary has done wrong. And the Republicans don't see the things that the Donald has done wrong. Frankly... This is the problem. And this problem is, might I say it, huge. It's a huge problem. Honey, don't you think it's a huge problem? Yeah. She thinks it's a huge problem. I urge voters to go out and vote on November 8th. I also hope that everybody watched the debate, which I haven't seen it yet because it's still early in the day, but was no doubt hilarious. I'm still probably laughing tomorrow morning while you're watching this episode of the vlog. But go out, vote on November 8th. Vote for who you see fit, whether it's Hillary Clinton or uh, Donald Trump or Gary Johnson or anybody else that's running. Or if you write in Mickey Mouse on the ballot, who, whoever you vote for, it's your decision. It's your choice. It's up to you, America. You get to pick. And that's the beauty of this democracy that we live in. This has been, what did I title this? The Bergy Blender Political Corner? This has been the Bergie Blender Political Corner with Dave Bergie, special guest Amanda, who brought me the voter registration card. Go out and vote on November 28th. I was just kidding. I know it's November 8th. Also, if you'd, again, like to write me in on the ballot. That's, I support breast cancer awareness, so if you want to write me in on the ballot, you can. Or me. Or Amanda, also. Our, uh, I mean, we're both 35, so it's totally fine. Uh, we already live in a white house. <laughs> So we're, we're set. We're set, America. My father today picked up something to enter us into an environmental film contest. Did he tell you about this? Yeah. Oh, he called you to tell you, too. Uh, he called me first, but I couldn't get through to me. Oh. He likes me better. Must be. Plus, you're the filmmaker, so. No. I would have called you first, too. That's exciting, though, right? Yeah. I don't know anything about the environment. Oh, I didn't realize it was environment. Oh, well, that's what he told me. Make a video about global warming. We're watching Independence Day, too. I'll let you know how it is after. I got Orbeez. Yeah, cool. Watch out for Mommy's foot. Are you ready for a comprehensive Independence Day resurrection review, Landon? Yeah. He watched I was, I saw, enough of it. I saw enough. So, here's my thoughts on Independence Day. Terrible. What could I? It was pretty good. I was actually pretty pleased with this I'm movie. So uh, it made me feel warm and fuzzy inside, and like I could fight aliens. Uh, I missed Will Smith, but uh, Liam Hemsworth was a nice replacement. And uh, d the kid that's supposed to be Will Smith's son in it. Um, so overall, it was uh, it was a pretty pretty good movie. Uh, on a scale of one to five Blender Blades, I give it a three point eight seven Blender Blades. I give it blenders, a blenders blenders blades whatever. Three point 
Four, three, two, one. And it gives it a four. Yeah. No. You should watch Independ <laughs> Independence Day too. Shouldn't they? I guess if they like aliens. Who doesn't like aliens besides Amanda? You're weird. afraid of aliens. Afraid You're a baby. Like baby. No, I don't like movies that are like. <laughs> Or you're just scared of them. It's time for the land in Berkey. Spooky. Joke of the day. 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 Okay. Just making sure you didn't say it. Why can't witches fly when they're angry? A joke of the day. Why can't witches fly when they're angry? I don't know why. Because they're afraid they might fly off the handle. I might fly off the handle, okay, guys? Joke of the day. I yeah, might fly. I win. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I'm hilarious. I'll be here all night. I might fly off the handle. See, it wasn't so bad, was it? It was an okay vlog, maybe. Yeah. Um, Amanda said that I should be on like what, like the Tonight Show or like Late Night, and I should be one of those political comedians, right? She didn't say that. Uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna relax and watch the debate and have a quiet night at home. Hit the puree button. What? Hit the puree button. What? Yeah. All right, never mind. No. Hit the puree button. Keep on blind up the blades. Cam drop. Save me on. <laughs>